Hey guys, uh, this lesson is uh, uh, module 9.1 and it's uh, we're measuring uh, the standard deviation. So this goes with the other one. I just didn't want to overload you with a bunch of stuff. Hey, don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com and this is Integrated Math 1. Okay, so another measure of spread is called the standard deviation. And it represents the average of the distances between the data values and the mean. And you're thinking, what does that mean? Well, here's the formula. And here's another, what does that mean? Whoops, there's supposed to be a dot, dot, dot there. Let's see if I can do that real quick. So there's supposed to be a dot, dot, dot there. Okay, same with right here. There's supposed to be a, a dot, dot, dot there. Okay, and what this means, you guys, is... Um, uh, you first got to find the mean, which is your average, and they call it X bar. So your mean is so you add them up and divide by the number of numbers here. And then you take each number and subtract the mean and then square it. And then you add the next number minus the mean squared. And you add the next number minus the mean squared. And you keep doing that with all the numbers and you divide it by how many numbers there are. And then you square root that, and that's what the standard deviation is. And if you guys ever watch, um, you know, like the elections and stuff, and they say, well, for example, right now this uh, guy named Donald Trump is running, and, and he's neck and neck with this other guy named Dr. Carson. And then down at the bottom with all these polls, you'll see like a plus or minus 3.5. Well, that's this thing. It's the standard deviation, that plus or minus thing right there. So the smaller the, the standard deviation, the more centered the numbers are. The bigger the standard deviation, the more spread out they are, the more they don't represent. It's not a good uh, sample. So anyway, so, so we're just calculating the standard deviation. So let's find the standard deviation of these numbers. So first we've got to find the, the mean. So the mean is going to be uh, the sum divided by the number of numbers. Okay, and so now we're going to do each number minus the mean, which is 86 squared, and add them all together. Okay, so this number minus 86 squared, this number minus 86 squared, this one, this one, this one, and we add them all up, and we divide by, there were five numbers, and then we square root all that. And then, so how do you do that first? Well, you got to subtract them first, you guys, and then uh, you get to that right there. Then you have to square them next, so we get to that right there. Then we have to add the top up, and we get to that, and then we divide by 5, and then we square root that, so we get about 5.5, okay? It's just number crunching is all, you guys. You guys can do this. It takes up lots of paper, though, I'm telling you. So, Okay, so here we have, I think it's 11 numbers right here, so it's the same thing, and it's not hard. It's just number crunching, you guys. So, um, uh, so we first find the mean, which is 73, and then we take each one of those numbers, and then so... The square of the deviations is what uh, what it's called, you guys. So this is that numerator. So it's just each number minus the 73 squared plus the next number minus 73 squared. And, you know, you keep doing that with all 11 numbers right there. And then uh, you square them. And so the mean of the squares is going to be all of those squares divided by there were 11 numbers, and we get 7.64. Now this is inside the square root, so now we're going to take the square root of that and we get about 2.8. Now, um, there, most scientific calculators have this feature in there, and different calculators um, function differently, so, so I, I just don't want to talk about that. But I, you know, I'll, I'll express that in my class, uh, but I will require them to do this on this assignment, and then afterwards I show them how to do it in the calculator. But, but my students don't have graphing calculators like this uh, textbook suggests, and if they did, it's just a couple of button features. You just got to insert these numbers, and there's a feature on there to calculate standard deviation, and it's just fast. But even then, when I teach AP statistics, I make them do this for a day just so they can appreciate uh, what those calculators are doing. And don't get too worried about that. Just this one lesson, I'm going to make you do that. Okay. All right. If you're in my class, uh, that would be your assignment. Take care, you guys.